So after losing five straight games to bad teams like the Magic, the Cavs, the Hornets, the Knicks come out to Boston to play the number one seed in the Eastern Conference and win by 30 points. 105-75 over the Boston Celtics. What did we just witness? This was a team that was looking hopeless. They had five straight losses. They, the, the defense was terrible. The offense was inconsistent. They could not beat teams, and they looked like they were going to roll over and die. Well, they came into Boston and laid an absolute beatdown on the Boston Celtics. Now, I get they didn't have Jason Tatum, but I don't care. This is the number one seed in the East. They're coming off of when they obliterated the Magic um, the other night. And they come in, and the Knicks come into Boston and wipe the floor with them. That's just sports sometimes. I, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. The Knicks win by 30 points over the Celtics. I think their biggest win against them since like the 90s. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. The, the Knicks just played fantastic defense overall. They came out firing on all cylinders. They made their shots. They were consistent, and they played a phenomenal basketball game today. And I am proud of this team. Uh, after their, you know, after five straight losses, they come out to Boston, play, you could argue, the best team in the Eastern Conference, and they come in and absolutely scorch the Celtics. Let's go over, I mean, let's go over these uh, numbers for the Knicks. Uh, Randall had 20 points in 31 minutes. He didn't do a whole lot. Um, still played very well, though. Reggie Bullock, wh why he continues to start is beyond me. 28, uh, 28 minutes, did have 11 points, but he's he's not a great, I don't care how many points he had. Reggie Bullock's not a good player. I don't know why he continues to start. I, I think Knox should be the starting, uh, you know, the starting guy at that position. I don't think Bullock should start anymore. I think he should be a bench player. I think that's what he is. I don't know why he continues to start, whatever. Uh, Robinson had 24 minutes, uh, 8 points. Uh, Mitchell Robinson played pretty well today. Uh, R.J. Barrett, he shut me up today. I was very disappointed in his performance against the Cavaliers. He played very well, and he was one of our best players, if not our best player tonight. Uh, he had 19 points in 29 minutes. He played very well. Uh, Peyton, didn't, Peyton didn't do a whole lot, and he started again. He started over Emmanuel quickly. Let's take a look at Quickly's numbers, shall we? 21 minutes, 17 points. Eight less minutes than Alfred Peyton. I'm sorry, two less minutes. He had eight more points. Tibbs. Start him. Start quickly. It's not that hard. The better player should start. Quickly is the much better player. Peyton is the worst player on this team. Start Emmanuel quickly next game. He better be the starting point guard. He better be. How do you continue to start Alfred Peyton? I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand. Obi Toppin played well. 17 minutes, 12 points for Obi Toppin. Best game of his career so far. He was fantastic. Rivers did not score a single point. And then, uh, you know, they put the bench guys in there at the end of the game. Uh, Smith had one point. Who really cares? But um, what a win. I, I'm, who would have saw this coming? Who would have saw, a, a, you know, a team, the Celtic, a Celtics, I think they came in, what, 8-3? and three? Uh, They won, like, six straight games or something crazy like that. And the Knicks lost five straight. The, Celt the Celtics are a way better team, even without Jason Tatum. They were a way better team. And the Knicks come in and lay a beat down on them. I don't know. It, it, that's just sports sometimes. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, the Knicks won t the first quarter 28-17, 20-18 in the second quarter, 27-15 in the third quarter, 30-25 in the fourth quarter. The defense was phenomenal tonight. Our, by far our best defensive performance of the season. I don't know if the Celtics were drunk. I don't know if they came into this game s asleep, but... I get it was a day game. You don't you don't see a lot of day games in basketball, but <laughs> the Celtics just did not play well today at all. And the Knicks, uh, you know, took advantage. I mean, the Celtics were awful. Uh, I mean, Jalen Brown played well. He had 25 points in now 33 minutes. But other than him, every every player on the Celtics was awful. They could not make a shot to save their life. Um, they were terrible. The Celtics were flat out awful. Uh, it's just if you're a Celtics fan, it's just one of those bad games. But uh, the Knicks are definitely moving in the right direction. This is the most impressive win of the season for the Knicks. I don't care how bad the Celtics played. This was a phenomenal win by the Knicks. And they were phenomenal defensively in this game. Um, and I got to give the Knicks props. Even though the Celtics, there was more bad Celtics, but the Knicks played very well in this game. 
defensively and offensively, and I got to give the Knicks credit. So it's going to be a short video because, I mean, what is there to talk about? The Knicks got a blowout victory, and the whole team played well. And I have nothing but positives to say about this game besides Alfred Payton. Nothing but positives to say about this Knicks team. And I hope I can continue to say that as the Knicks take on the Orlando Magic, a 12 o'clock game, a 12 p.m. game uh, at Madison Square Garden. Tomorrow they take on the Magic. They're not a very good team. They're without Markel Fultz. He's out for the year. So we should be able to beat the Magic. They're a bad team. They're one of the worst teams in the NBA. Let's beat the Magic, and let's get to 7-8 and eight after um, uh, after the long week, after the three-day weekend, because tomorrow is uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So after the long weekend, let's be one game under 500, and then we'll go from there. Uh, let's, let's take a look at our schedule after the Magic. We, we head to Golden State on Thursday, so we have a long day. We have, like, four days off. We head to Golden State. We play Sacramento. That's a game we could win. We could definitely beat the Kings. We, we play the Blazers. We play the Jazz. We could win three out of the four games. I think Golden State will be tough. You know, obviously with Steph Curry, he's the best point guard in the NBA. They're going to be tough to beat. But we have some winnable games down the stretch. We can't lose to Magic, you know, lose to the Magic like we did to Thunder. We got to beat the Magic, got to take care of business, head back to MSG, and beat Orlando tomorrow afternoon. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed this game today, drop a like, drop a comment, your thoughts on the blowout, uh, blowout win over the Boston Celtics. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it rolling on uh, starting tomorrow. Let's get our second straight victory. Go Knicks.